Today we're opening the best Yu-Gi-Oh set of the year, Power of the Elements. What's up guys, we're back with another epic opening video and today we're opening the newest Yu-Gi-Oh set which is Power of the Elements. We have two booster boxes that we got from my local game store. I'm gonna be giving away every single pull that we pull in this video to you guys. To enter that giveaway, just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know your favorite thing that's coming out of Power of the Elements. If you're a collector, it's probably DPE Starlight. If you're like actually playing, it's tier elements, it's sprites, it's all that different stuff. So let's see if we can pull all of it in this video. But wait! Did you know that Mega 10 2022 pre-sales are out? Use my code MightyRuxin30 if you want to get $30 off with Sassy Auto's link. It also supports me as well. If you haven't heard about the reprints in these tins, they're reprinting Dark Magician Girl, Red Eyes, Dark Magician, and Blue Eyes with new artwork. And they're also reprinting a bunch of new cards like Red Eyes, Dark Dragoon, Forbidden Droplet, Nibiru, Ash, Ghost Ogre, and many more. So make sure you guys use code MightyRuxin if you guys want to save $30 on your pre-order tin and it supports the channel. So let's get back to the video. Let's go ahead and crack open this first one sorry i do have a little bit of a you know a voice issue going on right now i've had a little bit of a allergy attack recently so we're just trying to make it through that but power of the elements is out everyone else has already opened it i'm the only one who has not opened it it seems like let's see what we can pull i'm really looking for that dpe starlight and of course if we don't pull in this opening well even if we do pull in this opening we're probably going to do a live stream searching for it as well because it's really difficult to pull a specific starlight i highly doubt we do get it but if we do you guys can win it so let's go morphtronic scan and we got the tier elements scraren all right so there's a tier elements card okay sprite carrot tier element it's all tier elements and sprites it's crazy i think uh sprites are actually pretty low rarity one secret rare i believe and tier elements maybe a little bit more higher rarity so let's just see what we can pull i'm pretty excited because this is a pretty big set we haven't had a really big core set like this in a while probably since like burst of destiny or something like that uh, so this is pretty exciting. Gym Knight, Lady Rose Diamond. I didn't know Gym Knight got some uh, support. So they already had Lady Diamond, I think. So now it's Lady Rose Diamond. All right, cool. Overfusion, what is this for? Oh, this is a hero or a Neospatian card. Oh my goodness, more hero support. Here it comes. Next pack, let's see what we can get. Let me know if you guys have opened any of this yet because it seems like tons of people have actually opened this already. So some of you guys might've already opened this, but if you haven't, let me know what you're excited for. If you have, let me know what you've pulled. Scatter Fusion, okay, nice super rare. This is supposed to be like propaganda, that's wild. All right, next pack, pa Power of the Elements. Let's go. Here we go. We got the Hydrolander Orbit. Nice. The Ice Jade Creation. Cross Keeper. Rux and Special. Right to the Venus Lift Corolla. Okay, we got a uh, we got a Corolla. Isn't that a Toyota? All right, we got a little Toyota going there. Very cool. Next pack. Uh, Toyota. Japanese uh, car, right? So, kind of makes sense. All right, we're going to see what we got there. Uh, we got the Dite. We got the Life. We got the Venus Lift. The Sprite. Okay, Moray of Avarice. Wait, what? That is horrifying. Look at this artwork. Oh my gosh, it looks like Pot of Avarice, but it's like a snake. Ugh, that's scary. This is for fish. So, Moray of Greed is like an older card, so it's like a mixture of those two. First Ultra Rare of the opening. Creepy artwork. I mean, not gonna lie, I might have nightmares about that one. That is pretty sketch. That is definitely sketch. So, hopefully we can get a nice... Oh, wait, ooh, they got Shari Red. They've got more Gunkin Sioux ships. Nice, we got some support going. The Slif, we got the Hydromander. We got the EN Wave. That's a super rare. All right, the EN Wave. This is like when you open a Forbidden Legacy 1 and the abbreviation has an EN. It's the EN Wave. Probably like 5% of you guys even understood that, but <laughs> let's just keep going. All right, all right. What are we going to get? Morphtronic Scan, and we got Versus, the Ice Jade, Ruxin Special, but... Oh, Melfies. More Melfies. Scareclaw Straddle. Scareclaw is just... What were they in? They were in just like a set or two ago. The Scareclaws, I think. So, yeah, more Scareclaw stuff. Okay. We got Tier Elements Havenus. We got the Mary Melfies, the Amaze Attraction. Oh, it's... The attraction stuff hasn't had anything in a while, or the amazement, whatever you call it. Oh, and the Ashura King Secret Rare. I don't know. Is this a good one? Ashura King. I don't see this guy anywhere, so I don't think this is the guy we're looking for in terms of, like, secret rares, but there it is. I could be wrong, because sometimes on these newer ones, you have to, like, scroll through all the different cards, and some of them don't have pictures. It's easy to miss them, and sometimes I'll miss, like, a really good card and think that it's bad. We get the Shift Fairy of Godi. What? Godi? Gotti? What is that? It's an interesting name. Still got a lot of packs to go, though. We got one secret rare so far. Let's see if we can pull an even better one. Something crazy. We've got the Garuda Wings of the Resident Life. So Garuda the Wind Spirit. Is that a reference to Garuda the Wind Spirit? That's pretty cool. Ultra rare. We got the Pit Knight early. All right. Some Link cards. And I like how inter or not, I don't like necessarily, but it's interesting how I haven't seen a lot of Links recently in a lot of the new sets. Scar the Vendred. Gem Knight Lady Rose Diamond again. Okay. 
All right, we're getting close. We're about, I think, halfway done with the first box. Let's see what else we can get. Look at this. A lot of damage on the card. Seems to happen a lot recently with the printing, unfortunately. Oh, a Sprite Elf. Ultra rare. Let's see. This is probably pretty good. There's a Link card. It's a Sprite. That's always a good start. This is one of the more valuable cards in the set. It's $17 right now, but it's two days before they release to everyone. You know, right now it's just pre-sellers on TCG. Price is definitely going to go down. I would guess like down under $5 probably just based on, you know, the price compared to what it will be later. I don't really know how like if the archetype's really good, it'll probably go back up, but who really knows? Digit Jam, we've got the Ian Wave again, all right, over Fusion, but it's always safe to assume that the price early on is not the price that it's actually going to be. Sometimes it'll go up, but very, very rarely, so keep that in mind. Life Extreme, wait till Friday before you buy stuff. Tier Elements, Sprite, and the Verisliff of the Awakening Forest, Terrors of the Uru. All right, keep on going. Left side of the box, what will we get? We've got Vanguard, we got Venice Loof. Elemental Hero Spirit of Neos. Okay, this is a really cool looking card. Like, really awesome. I don't know if it's any good, but it's definitely really cool. Oh, Moki Moki Adrift. Moki Moki got another card. That's epic. Okay, this set's looking lit. I also just noticed that the Garuda is also like 15 bucks right now. So apparently that card's pretty decent as well. Let's see if we can pull something else crazy. We've got the Gunkin Sushi. Let's get a nice Seeker Rare. Varus Lift and the Gym Knight Quartz. All right, another Gym Knight. Can we get a Starlight? That would be pretty sick. I'd be down for a Starlight. Any Starlight. It doesn't have to be the Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. Just give us a Starlight. I'm in. Uh, Punk Jam Dragon Drive. So, more Punk stuff. They're already really good. So, I wonder if that actually is a helpful card to them or not. Because already a pretty strong deck. I don't know how it stacks up against Tier Elements and Sprites, though. Because I think those are supposed to be good. Sprite Starter. I think this is like the best Ultra you can get for Sprites. Oh, wow. This says it's $20 right now. Yeah, this is definitely one of the best Ultra Rares you can pull. Okay, that's a great one. More Sprite stuff. We pulled three Sprite Ultra Rares, I think. That's pretty solid. They definitely have a lot of Ultras because they only have that one Seeker Rare. But okay, we're looking good so far. We're looking good. Laura's Lady of Lament. Okay, Super Rare. We have the Moki Moki. Next one, we have the Morphtronic Telephone. We've got the Mary. We've got the Venuslip and the Exo Sister Returnia. So Exo Sister is getting a little bit more support as well. A few more packs in this first box. What will we pull? Make sure you guys enter the giveaway to win all of this stuff. Life Extreme, get the Vera Slip. And the Primeval Plant Pelorino. I think this is really good. $73 right now. Oh my goodness. This is an insane pull Seeker Rare. It's not the best Seeker Rare. I think the best one is the Sprite Blue, which is the only Seeker Rare for Sprites. That's probably why it's so expensive because it's the only one. But this is a great pull as well. Three packs to go. This has been a great box so far. You guys can win all of this. Make sure you guys enter the giveaway. Make sure you guys uh, leave a comment, etc. and do all that stuff. And don't forget that if you get a reply in the comments from telegramex ruxin 34 with my profile picture, do not send them any money, guys. I will not be asking for any money. There's a critter counter for winning a giveaway. Giveaways are given away for free that's why they're called giveaways if they're asking for money they're not me so just ignore them i'm going to be announcing them on the youtube community tab another spirit of neo so that's a good way to end that box but uh yeah keep that in mind i don't want you guys to get scammed because i know a couple of you guys actually have gotten scammed from these people all right next box solid start we're doing pretty well so far i would say i mean we pulled one of the best secret rares uh the other one i can't find so probably one of the best and one of the worst but that's a good combo. It's better than like two like not very good ones, you know? All right, 24 more packs of the newest and a best set of the year. In my opinion, I still like Ghost of the Past more, but that's just because it's collectible, not because it's actually good in the, you know, the playability of it. And of course, this set is crazy playable. Two big archetypes, more support for older archetypes. Yeah, plus it has the awesome DP, which I'm excited about. Vindred Scavenger, very cool, super rare. So I am pretty excited to see, you know, what happens with this set, how it does, because we haven't had a great set in quite a while in terms of playability. And ooh, Garuda again, another decent ultra rare. And those usually uh, do pretty well, you know, for over the course of the time, etc. Like Rise of the Duelist, but that also was a little bit, uh, a little bit short printed. But hopefully this one can do pretty well as well. We have the Venus left, the Shift Fairy of the Godi. All right. So far, only one Ultra, no secrets out of this thing. Let's see if we can get the best Secret Rare. We have the Therion. Oh, Therion has some stuff in here as well. Okay. Therion was from, uh, what was that set called? Uh, something, wasn't it like Destiny or something? I, or was it Rise of the... No, I can't remember. Oh, Instant Contact. We have Elemental Hero Neos on the front, Secret Rare. I'm guessing that a Neos card is probably not very good, but we can check. 
yeah, this one's around 10 bucks. So that means by the time it actually comes out, it's probably going to be like two bucks, you know, one dollar, less than a dollar, something like that. So not a great one there, but that's okay. We're going to finish it off with an amazing one. What in the world is this? Literally somebody thumbnailed this thing. That's rough. Sprite Jet. Okay, super rare. That is pretty rough. The print quality, it's hard to say that it's been good recently because it definitely hasn't been, but the front card seemed to be the only thing taking the damage, which that is better than like, I guess like the rare or, you know, the foil getting hit. But still, it's kind of like, man, why does this happen? Oh, and an ultimate slayer! This is a crazy secret. Yeah, this is like 58 bucks. This is the one right below the other one we pulled last time. Oh my goodness, we are pulling insane right now. Ultimate slayer. I think this also has a starlight. I could be wrong, though. It, for some reason, TCG player is only showing me the DPE and the Asa, and that's it. It's not showing me the other ones. But, uh... Big pull, so we have two secret rares. Now we're looking for a starlight, I guess, and some good ultras, because there's a lot of great ultras in this set as well. You guys have a chance to win all these cards. These are actually really nice. We're pulling insane right now. Pulling one bad one bad secret, one great secret at this point, which is pretty uh, pretty okay. I think we'll take that. At this point, it does pay, pay for the box, but uh, of course, favorite contact, I'm guessing that's not great because it has Neos on it. But as, if it's a Neos card, probably not very good. But yeah, it pays for the box at this point, but by the time it comes out, I'm guessing those will go down a little bit, but those top ones will still do well. Gigantic Sprite, this is also a good one. 17 bucks for this Gigantic Sprite, pretty cool. That kind of looks like an Earthbound Immortal, actually. Yeah, that definitely reminds me of the uh, Earthbound Immortals from the anime. All right, a few more packs to go. Can we get a Starlight Punk Jam Extreme Session? So there's a couple of Punk cards in here, actually. Punk's getting some support. All right, all right, not bad. We have the Branded Expulsion. Branded even has stuff. Wow, there's so many like support cards. Well, a little bit of ding on the edges there. Corner's not looking so hot, unfortunately. Unfortunately, we have Echo the Flame Buddy. All right, the Branded and Central. Well, now we're down to what? Like eight packs left? Three, yeah, eight exactly. We have a third of a box left. Will we get something amazing? Oh, we have an EN wave. The wave of the EN cards is here. Seven packs to go. Will we pull a Starlight Rare? If we pull a Starlight, I'm gonna freak out. We've never actually pulled a Starlight when we get these like early openings or like we open it like right when it comes out. If you know what I mean, we usually open like two boxes. I've never pulled a Starlight. We've done a Ghost before. Uh, with, uh, what was that? The Clearwing Synchro? Of course, it wasn't a very good one, but Sprite Elf! Wow, another Sprite. We are pulling so many Sprites right now. This is insane if you guys want to play Sprites and or just, you know, have the value. Yeah, but we've just never had luck, like, with our two boxes to get, like, lucky enough to pull a Starlight. I mean, that's, like, 1 in 12 boxes to happen. Like, well, 1 in 12 for us to pull it because we're opening two boxes because it's, like, 1 in 25. So, pretty unlikely, but we've done this a lot. So, I'm hoping at some point we can get a Starlight and give it away to you guys. That'd be pretty crazy. Power Tool Braver Dragon. Why is there a Power Tool Dragon card in here? I have no idea. Has anyone even played those in, like, years? Like, I don't know if anyone's ever played them. I'm sure at some point somebody did, but I don't know when it was. We got three packs to go. Let's get a Starlight Rare. Therion Empress Alessia. Okay, very cool. These pulls have been nuts right now. We're looking pretty good. The new... Power of the Elements. Let me know if you guys have enjoyed this opening of the newest Power of the Elements. And keep an eye out for when we open Power of the Elements until we pull Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer Starlight Rare. We're going to be opening a lot of packs, so that's going to be potentially this weekend, Friday or Saturday. Something like that. Hopefully my voice is feeling better by then, because a live stream would... I'd probably die, but hopefully I'll feel better by then. Let's see what we're going to get in the last pack. Will it be an Ultra? Albaz the Asian. Okay, so nothing in that one, but that's okay because we pulled absolutely insane out of here. We pulled sprites, we pulled the ultimate slayer and some Neo stuff, which isn't that great, but we did pretty good out of this opening. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to TCG Trust Cards, Tomefo Show, Tomato Juice, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Squirtle, Flexi Boy, Dizzy, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, John Nolan, and Untai Show, Thomas McLean, and Seth Fisher. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.